So we know Topps has botched a lot of releases this year. Look at the mess you made. Oh, I've made a terrible mess, haven't I? And last year, is Stadium Club Chrome going to be any different? Let's find out. Let's rip some aces. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Huxbox here. Today, we're going to be opening a new release, a new retail release which the retail released before the hobby, which is odd. It is 2022 Topps Stadium Club Chrome. We got three blaster boxes we picked up from Walmart. These retail for $24.97, not inexpensive, but we know Topps has kind of botched a lot of their Chrome releases, especially this year. Topps Chrome update was god awful. Sonic was kind of bad. Why are you so mean? Uh, so let's see what we can get in here and we're gonna open these three up. You guys can let me know which blaster you think is the better blaster in the comments below. Let's see what we can get in here. So this is gonna be pretty typical at tops. Um, let's focus in on that. So you're gonna find, there's gonna be one X fractor per pack. So that is pretty good. A refractor in every four pack. And then after that, it starts to get a little more dicier, like your blues and 131, et cetera, et cetera. Wait, th these are all pretty typical of tops parallels. And then you have, of course, your super fractors. So we're gonna dig into this, see what we can get, see what we think. And joining us today on stage is a Steven Strider auto out of Topps Gallery and a short print of Jeremy Pena out of Topps Update. And if you like these kind of videos, wanna help support the channel, help support me grow, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel, turn on your notifications so you know when new videos go live. I appreciate each and every sub. It doesn't take much of your time, but I appreciate it and it super helps. So in these, we're gonna get uh, four packs. I believe it's, what is it? 10, pa 10 packs, 10 cards per pack, seven cards per pack, four packs. So 28 cards total, not a whole lot, but it's there. And we can get autographs out of here as well. Let's dig in. I didn't any open any Stadium Club uh, regular this year. So let's see what this can kind of bring us. And Aaron Nola, Chris Sale, McGill on the X Fractor rookie card, Beam Team, Pete Alonzo. I like that insert. Guzman. Duran. And a rookie of Joshua. Is that Joshua? Gray. I like these cards. They're kind of like, they remind me of photogenic. Just, it's all about the photography. They're gorgeous cards. So far, so good. Haven't seen any major print lines on any of them. There's Tom Glavin playing ice hockey. I didn't know he, well, I guess he's, is he Canadian? A rookie X Fractor of Seth Beer. Rookie card of Romero. Oh, we got an auto of Eloy Jimenez. Awesome. Uh, well, I didn't expect that. That came out of nowhere. That was unexpected. Excellent. Dude. Anytime you can pull a, an auto out of retail, I'd call that a win. I'd call that a major win. A major, major win. All right, Blaster 1, off to an awesome start. Dale Murphy, who I used to love as a kid when I was like seven or eight. Don't ask me why. I did live, I was born in Atlanta, so there's that, but I was moved out of there when I was three years old, so it's not like I remember. I think I just had a personal maybe attachment since uh, Buffalo didn't have a baseball team at the time. Well, they still don't, they have a minor league team. Fairchild, Kyle Tucker, Bob Gibson, it is a lar very large checklist, I believe. Oh, MJ Melendez, that's not a bad one. We'll take that. Uh, 
A Ronald Acuna, that looks like a, that's a refractor. Take that as well. It's a good hit. Acuna sells very well, prime for a big year. And then Barry Larkin. So yeah, we also did have, I guess by the time you see this video, it'll be about a week into the season, but I'm recording this on April 1st. But Rushman off to a hot start. Franco had a pretty good game. Jared off to a slow start. Our X Fractor is Jock Peterson. This is a Raphael Devers Trophy Hunters. It's a little bowed, but the quality control seems to be really solid. I see, I've noticed no print lines, which on a something like a card like this, we think would be super noticeable. Diego Castilla and a Gio Carlo Stanton. All right, so that's blaster number one. I think out to a, a hot start. No J-Rod, no rookies. We'd like to see, you know, we'd like to get a J-Rod, a Bobby Witt. But it's going to be difficult. So the hobby version of this was supposed to come out this past week, last week of March. And it has continuously been pushed back. And now it's releasing in the first week of April. I don't know what that means. I mean, retail seems solid. There should be no reason why we're having issues printing or anything. Maybe it's a distribution problem. Who knows? Reed Detmers, Pedro, a lot of vets here. Our X Fractor is George Brett, who I used to have a rookie card when I was a child, and my brother traded it away for four crappy cards. Devers, I, that's his refractor, obviously. It's a little harder to see in person. The camera picks it up a, a lot better. Connor Seabold, Cabrera, had a pretty good first game pitching. And a Jake McCarthy, a rookie. The packs are not opening, but I open them from the top. They don't open from the bottom very well. Jake Myers, and I found these on a restock. There's another Seth Beer rookie. That's disappointing to see the collation, but my local Walmart restock, it was a big restock week. Our X Fractor is U Darvish, but they had Stadium Club was there. I should finish opening this pack and then I'll, I'll cover that. A Destiny Vlad Guerrero Refractor. Dylan Carlson, El Tuve, and our rookie is Rodolfo Castro. They had Stadium Club, Prism was there. The Donruss Basketball Fat Packs were there. Uh, the McDonald's All-American Blasters were there. I feel like I'm missing something else, but there's an O'Neill Cruz rookie card. Very nice. He had a pretty solid game to start. The year, I'm hoping for you know, the, being living in the Pittsburgh area, there was high hopes for him to be a superstar and bring the team out of uh, the grave. Basically, there's a Jazz Chisholm. Always takes great pictures. Refractor. Oh, that's gonna be. That's not a bad card. David Ortiz was Trophy Hunters. I like these cards. They are exceptionally bowed though. The last one was too. Profar and a, that's not a refractor. Hard to tell. So other than Cruz, we haven't hit any of the big rookies. That's a good picture for Ian Anderson. <laughs> we like that. Photography is great in here. Castillo rookie. Colton Wong, Ryan Howard, beam team of Freddie Freeman, Ozzy Albies, and a Javier Baez. That's kind of our first major issue. That cut on that card was terrible. A little chunky up there. All right, that's Blaster 2. Let's hit Blaster 3. 
Still waiting on a J-Rod card, a Bobby Witt card. Would be nice to see. But so far, I photography is gorgeous. Quality control is good. I don't know the what kind of value these are gonna hold. Very nice. But we'll, you know, I'll have comps in the video. So we'll find out. Austin Riley, a walk machine in his first game. Our, ooh, we got a rookie refractor. That's not a bad one. Arius. Not terrible. Got a beam team of Devers. Frankie Montas. Josh Bell. And a Harrison Bader. Come on. Gimme, gimme. You've got a lot to... If you want to beat Blaster 1, you're going to have to step it up. Kyle Wright. Tony Gwynn, our X-Fractor, is Dale Murphy. I mean, he's some PC loving. Uh, he's not even really a PC dude. He's just nostalgic. Jim Palmer. Refractor. Mookie Betts. And a Jesse Winker. I think this, the cards are gorgeous. I think this is just going to be pretty typical of recent Topps releases. Um, just your hit rate is going to be bad. Just real bad. Ricky Henderson. Kevin Smith, our X-Fractor, is a Yankee. Jeff McNeil. Alex. Are you completely blind? Bregman. Matt Olson and Hideki Matsui. Last pack. No Bobby Witt. No Julio. These packs, though. I've seen very few of the, the better rookies. There's Lodolo. Brandon Marsh. Alex Bregman again. Our X Fractor is not a rookie. Mike Trout, but we'll take a Trout. Ooh, and behind that, we might have a big boy. I don't know what the short prints are as far as. But, got a team of the future, Bobby Witt Jr. That, it, I would imagine. I don't know, I haven't seen that insert yet, so that kind of tells me something. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Again, we'll have comps. Let's move him over. I don't know. Get him on stage. Team of the future. Hunter Green, who got lit up in his debut. And a scoo ball. So there you have it. There is uh, Stadium Club Chrome Retail. Um, let me know who you, what blaster you think won. Maybe blaster two and three take on blaster one. You guys let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you want to help support the channel, help me continue to grow. Be sure to like the video. Hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to like the video. Sub to the channel. Turn on your notifications so you know when new videos go live. And I appreciate you guys spending even a minute of your time with me. Thank you for all your support helping my channel grow. And until next time, peace out.